John here guys and today we are talking about the Flipsky SQ001. This is a new version of the tried and true famous TS100 electronic portable soldering iron kit. Now my handler over at Bangers sent me a message the other day saying that there is a new version of the TS100 out and would I like to review it and I was like yes of course the TS100 is the bomb. Uh, when it arrived, I was like, hmm, it sort of looks like the same shit, the same shit. It's the same shit, <laughs> the same shit. And while in a lot of respects, this is just a TS-100 rebrand, there is a couple of very notable differences that makes this a worthwhile purchase. Uh, as you can see, the screen is identical. The casing is pretty much the same. This is a blue version, um, but a couple of differences are the buttons are slightly different. They're round instead of oval shaped, whatever. That doesn't make a difference at all. Uh, they're both gonna have the micro USB on the bottom. But the cool thing is that this one, instead of with the small rounded tip, ships with this bladed tip. Now I've already started testing this out, I'm soldering up for a build of the new Championship 533 switchback frame and uh, of course all, like all TS100s you have the replaceable tip where you can run a variety of tip sizes. I do like this blade one for, for doing larger pads like motors or, um, or power leads. This really helps you to get that very nice shiny blob of solder which is a lot more difficult with this tiny tip and because it's bladed you still have a very fine point to be able to get your smaller pads taken care of as well. Um, very versatile. You would normally have to buy this separately. The other thing that it ships with is this guy's XT60 to barrel connector. Connector. Um, usually you also have to buy this separately when you get a TST100. So you can run this on any, I believe, 3 to 6S pack. And it just plugs in like this and boom, it's on and ready to go. Now I still will have to apply the firmware update. Uh, in order to update it to be able to run all the way to 440 degrees if I so desire, which I do like a little bit of that extra heat when I'm doing my motor uh, and power lead connections, um, but it is quite, quite good. Look at that nice little OLED screen that lights up showing you a diagram of what button to push to activate the iron. The other things that it comes with are a little toolkit to be able to, you know, tighten the Tighten the tip, some instructions that I'm just gonna throw away, probably because who reads instructions in this hobby, right? Uh, this is kind of nice. A little soldering iron holder. So don't just go placing this on your bench as you're doing a build. As you can see here, I have a variety of scars on my forearm from placing my iron random places and then going to pick something up, putting my arm directly onto the iron. So don't do that, guys. <laughs> This little cheap 20 cent part is going to allow you to have a specific dedicated place for your iron. Also has a little sponge in there so you can put some water on it, clean off your tip as you go. Something I always forget to do. And of course the full manual right here. So um, at first I'm thinking like, what am I going to do with a second TS100? And here's what I'm going to do guys. This new one is going to be my new building soldering iron for in the house and my original TS100, this is actually the Saint Smart version, branded version. All these work the same. They all use the same firmware. They all use the same tips, to totally perfectly fine. This is gonna be my field one because a lot of times what happens is I would move this back and forth between my field case and working at home. And a lot of times I'd go out to the field forgetting it on my bench, having done some builds or repairs the night before flying and then I'd be out in the field without an iron. And nothing can send you home in a more devastating, frustrating, irritating sense of defeat than crashing, ripping a motor wire off that could have easily be fixed in about 30 seconds with one of these and then you forget it at home. So now I will have one for the field, one for home. Um, outstanding. You have no idea how many times this has saved me, kept me out in the air at a race or just had a fun fly. You have no many time, no, no idea how many times I've been able to loan this to somebody out in the field to keep them going. 
Guys, if you don't have at least one TS100 variant, I highly suggest that you get one. This one is on sale with a bladed tip with this excellent XT60 two barrel connector. It's much longer than the ones that I bought from other places separately. It comes with it and the stand for $38.88. $38.88, how much would you expect to pay for this thing? $99.99, $89.99, $79.99, no. $38.88, go into the link in the description below, buy it right now. Okay, that last part was just a little bit of a joke. Uh, but QVC, if you need somebody, give me a call. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.